When COVID-19 happened last year, it took all of us by surprise. Our community organizing model doesn't necessarily really speak to direct service kinds of issues. And so it took us a second to try to figure out what it was gonna look like for us to both think about the, the needs of the people and community right at that particular moment in time, while also thinking about how we were going to influence the systemic nature of what was happening in our communities as a result of uh, COVID-19. As a response to that, we launched the mutual aid effort in April of 2020 during the heart of COVID-19 outbreak in this country. And specifically, we envisioned a community that would support one another during this pandemic. So the idea around mutual aid for us was this thinking of what does it mean for community members in Brockton to take care of each other, to see each other as each other's responsibility. And so uh, we wanted to create the conditions at Brockton Interfaith Community for people to be able to live into the thing that we already knew they wanted to do. And we already know that people naturally want to take care of one another. We just wanted to create the conditions for them to be able to do so and go figure that's exactly what they did. One of the most rewarding aspects of the mutual aid work is the volunteers who stepped up during this uh, pandemic. We've got dozens and dozens of community members who have donated time, money, their vehicles to do the work of mutual aid, of supporting their brothers and sisters in need. I would describe a mutual aid as being a hub in the community of Brockton that has different facets and within those different facets they have the ability to reach different diverse populations in Brockton with a diverse group of organizers that lead the efforts. A couple of months ago, it was back in June 2019 I think, I was, as a college student, you know, because of the pandemic I was struggling with rent payment and that's exactly when I heard talking about mutual aid. I reached out to them, especially to Angel, and I got helped twice, to be exact. And like, that's exactly the switch for me. That's where I realized how impactful like, this group is like, to the community. And right after I got back on track, I've decided to contribute myself into making people's lives a little bit better. One of the things that I remember uh, personally was when I was very sick with coronavirus. Many volunteers of mutual aid cook and brought the foods for me during those sick days. Also, um, I, because I was very sick, I went to um, hospital three or four times and my health insurance didn't cover some medical bills. And I was really sad and worried Beside my illness or coronavirus, I was concerned how I will pay a lot of money that I had to pay for my medical bills. And mutual aid helped me. First, I was looking for something to do in the city to help the community. I called one of my friends named Linda Barros, and she introduced me to Angel, and that's how I got in. I was doing voluntary, and uh, I was helping people with the delivery, translating, and delivering them cards, and even picking up some full cooking meals for them. Yes, I um, received the support and I was grateful for that moment that I was doing with COVID-19, a application that was online, that was for help, someone who was with COVID-19. So, I was waiting for that help, and I was just waiting for that COVID-19. So, I was waiting for that help, e simplesmente es bate na minha porta, es chega lá, es ajuda na todo momento que es pode, e fica teu contente, es dá teu força, teu apoio na parte de alimentação, na parte de e emocionalmente e sempre esta teu mão e quer para telefone e que ele também pessoalmente estava lá e me teu grata para ser ajuda, es faz teu e trabalho, excelente trabalho. Many of the people who were helped have themselves become leaders in the various initiatives uh, involving the mutual aid work. I support mutual aid in many ways. Uh, for example, uh, picking up food boxes, big boxes of food in Weymouth. I supported the work of mutual aid by making deliveries from time to time. And also, I'm Haitian, so it was only right to me to 
translate from Mission Creole to English for them whenever they meet with my community. We picked up food boxes at a church in Weymouth and we brought them here um, to Brock them and we distributed to families that had the need. I was doing a lot of deliveries sometimes until night times, 7, 8, 9 p.m. Even after I got back to work, I was doing some deliveries, the carts from Vicente, from Brothers Market, and also bringing some family clothes and a box of food, picking up from different spots and drop what the family was in need the most. Angel then started to get a group of people together coming from the Cape Verdean community. He did listening in the Cape Verdean community. We did listening in the Haitian community. We did listening in the Latinx community. We did listening across all these different cultures and groups of people. Basically, we asked two questions. What do you like about the city of Brockton? And what concerns you about living in Brockton? We gathered all of that information and then we held what we called a uh, community issue choosing convention where community members were invited to the table on choosing one issue that Brockton Interfaith can organize around. And the systemic issue that came up was immigration. As part of uh, the immigration team, we were able to move forward an effort of signing a letter to Pathway for Citizenship. One of the most dynamic events that we had were, were able to sit with the local government in Brockton and advocate for them to listen to the voices of the immigration people within Brockton. We are working specifically um, with, um, in the letter that we sent to legislators, we, we told them and we asked them what they stand for, um, if they uh, support DACA, um, DACA recipients, uh, TPS holders, and essential workers. Specifically those three categories, we want to get their citizenship. I found it especially rewarding that the councilman actually made a, a statement saying that he would love to hear more from groups like us, that he has never had an encounter or had anyone kind of speak on the immigration issue, and that he really saw this group as a potential to keep sitting at the table and bringing issues for the community. And being able to fight for them, being able to try to like get them that security, it's really, it gives me a sense of being a part of something really powerful and I just want to push forward and I will. You know, people started reaching out to me out of nowhere and just saying, you know, we have $10,000, we have $50,000, we have $100,000 that we'd like to donate, uh, that we would like to give to BIC if you just fill out this grant, we can give it to you for the purposes of redistributing that money back out. And I mean, shoot, we, up to this point, we've raised about $300,000, $350,000 in funding that has all gone directly back out to the community. And to be honest, the funding that we've received is critical for the work to continue. For us to continue serving the needs of the community, uh, it's important that we continue to raise revenue. And so we've been blessed to have foundations and grants on a continued uh, basis that allows us to continually meet the needs in Brockton. We have a fund, and so if you feel compelled and you want to help continue the work of Mutual Aid Brockton, we're going to put the information that is accessible where you could donate as you so please so that the work will be able to be sustained and continue the work that we've started in the city. I believe Mutual Aid is, is very important for our city in Brockton because it's no um, organization depending from government. It's something that was born in the community for our community. Ntachema chu um kuzi gesta fazi importanti pa komunidadi esta fazi chu esforço um na donation um ku ajuda pa comida e assim pa escolas ou kel ki for é um grupo de pessoas ki kreoja famílias uh, to, 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 to so, Ntacha means that it's a good job for the community, for the community to be happy with the things that it's doing. We cannot grow alone. We have to grow together. And also, it's not just um, giving, it's also empowering people. Uh, Words cannot describe 
Today, I feel more connected to this city and uh, I feel proud of it. And every time you guys need me, you guys can count on me, night or day. Even if we have to travel some other countries to help, I'm here for. And uh, I feel very connected to the city and uh, very touched. And I feel great the fact that I, I put a time into my city, to my community, for uniting and for better city. And we share, we, we just not share our money and our gifts and many things that we have. We, we share also our, our skills, our talents, our gifts that God has given us. All these things make us to grow and the, that's why I think mutual aid is very, very important in our city of Brockton. So if there is a particular need that you or your family may have, mutual aid is uh, an organization that you can turn to. We don't, we don't ask a lot of questions. We don't need a lot of documentation. If there's a need, we are going to help you. Um, never be ashamed to ask for help. We all have needed help at times, and it is the very purpose of mutual aid to be able to provide relief for the uh, many needs that exist in this community.